Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone apps not opening on your iPhone. You're going to follow these steps to go ahead and resolve it. So let's get started. So whenever that is happening, let's say you're trying to open up an app and it simply op doesn't open up or stuck, is you're going to pull up your uh, open apps like this or use your home button, double click on it if you have a home button, and then it will show all the apps that are open. You're going to go ahead and close out the app that is an opening for you. So we can quit it like this, forcing it to... Uh, basically close and then you want to go ahead and try to reopen it and hopefully it's simple as that and it's working for you now if that didn't work for you we're going to move on to the next one is to see if there's an update for the app now in order to check for an update we need to go to the app store itself and from the app store you're going to search that app up or you're going to click on your profile up top here and you'll see all the apps that need an update here so if you're finding maybe facebook isn't opening up just click on that update button and let that update download and install and if you don't see it on the list here you can always go to a search here and then in our case right if you're searching up an app like facebook we search it up and whatever app that is an opening for you and go ahead and click on it and then click on that update option here as you can see it's already updating and you might also want to consider if all of the apps you're trying to open is an opening up you want to go ahead and click update all so it can update all of them at once instead of specifically clicking one at a time and time to time you need to update to fix uh, things like bug fixes glitches and if you updated the software on your phone it's also important to update your app as well and once it's updated it's going to say the word open instead of update that means your app has been up to date and now it should go ahead and open like it should now if it's still not working the next thing to do is go ahead and do the same exact thing pull up uh, from the bottom or use the home button to open up all the open apps close it out just like that and then we're going to follow this step which is going to be we're going to press and release the volume up press and release the volume down and then hold on to the side button just like that and this is known as a force restart the sequence of pressing and releasing the volume up followed by press and release the volume down before holding on to the side button which is going to force the phone to completely shut off and then once you see the Apple logo, you let go of that side button and then reload the code. So if it's a software related glitch, most likely the reason why the app isn't working, this will go ahead and help it fix it. This method is safe, will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will still be on your phone. And if you don't get it right the first time, try it a few times. When you're doing this uh, sequence, make sure you don't touch the screen by accident. It'll mess up the screen. So it's just going to be volume up, volume down before holding on to that side button now after you have done that maybe uh, it's worked and you still can't get the app to open the next thing you want to go ahead and uh, make sure that is your internet is working sometimes what happens is if your internet is not working uh, apps will not try to open because it relies on internet so just go to safari or any other browser just to see you can connect to any website on your wi-fi or cellular data now after you have done that it's time to go ahead and do the next thing which is going to be in your phone settings go to general iPhone storage and you want to ensure that you have at least a couple gigs of storage available because a lot of times when I launch a new app right it requires certain bit of free space available in order to properly function or open up so as you can see I have 92 gigs available but I would say a couple gigs at the minimum you want now if you are zeroed out or is very close to zero you want to look at things like maybe deleting some apps that you don't use or also go ahead and I would recommend deleting long format videos or photos that can also clear up some space and help your phone again work again now if it's still not working the next thing to do is go ahead and delete and reinstall that app so in our case we're gonna pick Facebook we're gonna press and hold click on remove and then click on delete and then delete we're gonna delete the app don't f worry if you have an account on that app that account isn't getting deleted this is just deleting the app itself we can sign into our account again and then what you're going to do is go ahead into your app store and same exact process search for that app that you just deleted and you're going to go ahead and get and reinstall that app again you're going to click on install it might ask you for your Apple ID password or verification it's going to download and install and hopefully once you download and install the app work opens up and works the way it should now if it's still not working after you have reinstall it the next thing to do is go back into your setting on your iPhone this time from the setting here right we're gonna go from our settings we're gonna go to general and then scroll down where it says transfer reset iPhone we're gonna click on reset and we want to reset all settings so when you do a reset of all settings 
a reset settings like network related settings. So if you had say Bluetooth or Wi-Fi uh, connected, that will have to get reconnected. Any custom keyboard dictionary will get reset. Any home screen custom layout will get reset and any location privacy settings themselves. So all that it's going to do is reset the settings themselves. It will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will still be on your phone. It's something you'll need to do if you simply can't get the app to open. And of course, if it's still having issues, then it's time to go ahead and update the phone software as well. So in the settings, just simply go to general software update and check if there's an update available. If there is, it should pop up here where it says update now. You're going to go ahead and click on update and update your phone to the latest version. It's always a good idea to update your phone to the latest version whenever you're having your issues. Now, after you update it and you still can't get that app to work or one that specific app, you can try to contact the developers of the app. Sometimes they need to update it on their end. In order to contact the developer, you can search it up in the app store here and you'll have information about the developers listed here for example facebook is by facebook here so you'll see here sometimes you can get a contact here so just look around here such as like app developers here you'll see here sometimes you can actually write a review or app support click on it and it'll take you to the website that you have in order to see where you can get support and then put in that you need help maybe because the app is an opening and they can probably fix it depending on what app it is and that's what you want to do i hope this video was helpful if so please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for iphone and other ios devices we'll see you guys next time